There are 150 psalms in the Jewish and Western Christian tradition. The date and authorship of the psalms covers at least five centuries, ranging from Moses to the period of exile and shortly after. Now, some of the authors are known, others are not, with the greatest number of psalms attributed to Sandy Patty. No, just kidding. Uh, King David, uh, 73 of the 150 psalms. Even still, it's difficult to find definitive evidence to support David's authorship. But what about these popular expressions of poetry and songwriting that are very different in their meaning and purpose? What significance do they have for us as Christians today? And is there a Strictly Psalms cover band? That's what I'd like to know, is that? Anyway, that is why we thought we'd take a closer look at the Psalms on this episode of Chuck Knows Church. The book of Psalms is commonly referred to simply as Psalms. Uh, the English title is from the Greek translation, Psalmoi, not to be confused with Salami, which is really not that close at all, if you think about it. Uh, it means song to the accompaniment of stringed instrumental music. Now the Hebrew title for the book is Tehillim, meaning praise songs. The earliest Christians used the Psalms for worship, as uh, New Testament references indicate, and they remain an integral part of our liturgy and our worship today, their popularity extending way beyond our church homes. Psalm 22, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Comment on Good Friday, expressing continued faith in the midst of being tested. Psalm 103, bless the Lord, O my soul. A favorite uh, prayer of praise, remember? The one adapted for the musical Godspell? Huh? Any musical theater fans out here? Oh, yeah. 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 We have a couple people that are enlightened. They attend the theater. <clears throat> uh, perhaps the best known, of course, the 23rd Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Comfort in a time of need. Widely chosen for funeral services. God as a, uh, a good shepherd, the rod and the staff, feeding leading his flock. Now, the Psalms are also a part of the lectionary, which is a listing that contains a collection of scripture readings used for worship. Uh, they vary considerably in their intentions from uh, personal prayer to heavenly praise to uh, exploring nature, the earth and the seas, and even the universe, right? Historical, liturgical, penitential. Now, it's easy to understand how the book of Psalms would remain at the heart of the Christian worship and it's also super easy to understand why a Psalms cover band would really rock the house. Guys, am I right? Yeah. Right? Woo, yeah. yeah. If you'd like to know more, don't forget to ask your pastor. Tell them Chuck sent you. <laughs>